Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So I'm finally getting around to filming this video that has been pretty requested lately. A while back I decided to finally get some eyelash extensions which I have been contemplating for a long time but I'll get into that in a little bit. And after I had got them done, so many of you had asked me to do a review about them, my experience to tell you a little bit about just what I experienced with them. Um, because I think a lot of you out there were in my shoes and debating whether or not it's a good idea. So let's just get right into it. Okay, so when I got my eyelash extensions done, it was about two months ago when I first got them done. So a little bit before that, so a backstory, or not a backstory, but some background information. I had been contemplating eyelash extensions for about maybe like a year and a half or two years. Um, and what really stopped me from just taking the plunge and doing it is the fact that I myself did a lot of research and I always heard multiple opinions about it and it was either extremely good or extremely bad. So I was a little hesitant and a little scared, but the one thing that I for sure knew just by doing all the research that I had already done is that I needed to find someone who was very experienced and had a lot of good references. And that's also kind of what took me a long time was to finally find that person, to find the right one, <laughs> to find the right person that I trusted enough to go ahead and give the extensions a try. After doing a ton of research and just asking different people locally, I asked a lot of my clients, I asked a lot of colleagues just about you know if they've ever tried it, if they know someone i finally got in contact with a lash artist that was here in my local area if you have asked me where i go to for those of you who are also local in the south texas region and i will share her information in a little bit but before that let me just set up to how it was when i first got it done so i was debating whether or not to take my camera in and actually film one of my appointments i decided not to only because i don't know who would be filming <laughs> i just decided not to i figured that you can actually look up on here on youtube like videos of how lash extensions are done feel free to search that they're pretty much done all the same but basically I set up my appointment, I went in, uh, don't wear any eye makeup whatsoever because they need a clean base to work on. And really what eyelash extensions are is they're individual either synthetic or mean care lashes, whichever your lash artist decides to use. And what they do is they actually go through each and every one of your natural eyelashes and they glue on, I believe it's a medical grade glue that they use and they take their false extensions which is just like one single hair and glue them onto your eyelashes individually each one eyelash extensions from an experienced artist someone who's really reputable should start from 120 dollars and up that's just what i noticed was the norm when i did my research locally and you know not locally when i got my first set done it did take my lash artist about two hours to go through each of my eyes and it's a very calming process you're lying down your eyes are closed they do have to tape down your lower lashes so they don't get stuck to the top ones during the process it doesn't hurt whatsoever when you get it done the only hard part is if you can't sit still for a good while then you're going to get really antsy that's pretty much the only bad part about the actual application process Another cool thing about when you go with someone who's really experienced is the fact that they know how to do different things on you. I'm someone that I like my eyes to have a more rounded look, so I always tend to want to have heavier, longer lashes in the center of my eye. But if you want more of a cat eye look, they can do it where it's longer at the ends. And every lash artist is different. Every lash artist uses different products. Every lash artist is known for different things. Just like makeup artists, some are known for more natural looks, some are more for dramatic. Some use a variety of different products. Some use just a set brand. It's just all different different and that's where your own personal research needs to really come into play and find someone that you feel will hit your style the right way. So after my appointment was done, I was in love with my eyelashes. So what I asked for my first set was just to go heavy because I am someone that I wear false eyelashes almost every day or anytime I do my makeup. So for me, heavier lashes felt normal to me. If you are someone that you do not wear even false strip lashes like hardly ever, then I would definitely suggest to ask for the most natural pair of eyelash extensions that you can 
get or that your lash artist can offer because if you are done with your appointment you open your eyes and you see like these huge eyelashes on you you're gonna freak out and you're probably not going to like them so just make sure you can find someone that either does a natural style does dramatic style whatever style appeals to you the most make sure they know how to execute it well so after I got my lashes done, full set, everything, I was so happy. They looked amazing and I didn't feel one thing, like nothing whatsoever. So the good part about this, the beautiful part about eyelash extensions is the fact that your eyelash is already done. You can be wearing no makeup and you feel glamorous because you already have these long, beautiful lashes. And when you do your makeup, it can be so much faster. When you do like natural looks and stuff, you just already look like glammed up and you can take out that step of putting on a false strip lash. And that's what I loved about it and I think it's so cool. They're definitely a lot more comfortable for me than strip lashes. So for me, they were like, like they're the best thing ever. And I've been getting them refilled ever since. I go about every two weeks. You can go every two to three weeks, at least that's what my lash artist recommends. Obviously, the longer you wait, the more fall out and the more expensive each refill is going to be. But for me, every two weeks is perfect. She just fills in where I'm missing gaps. We can change it up a little bit, however I'm feeling for like that moment in time. Um, but it's really convenient. And then every refill doesn't take as long as when you get a fresh new set. Every refill is about, I want to say... Uh, it could be like maybe 30 minutes to 40 minutes just depending on what I'm doing that time or how many lashes have fallen out. One thing to keep in mind though is that when I first got my first set done, um, I noticed that one eye tend to have a lot more fallout than the other and she explained to me that it's possibly because I sleep on that side more so of course you're going to have something like touching your eye a lot more for about eight hours throughout the night. Well, that's if you get eight hours of sleep. Um, but that's usually what happens. But then after that, I notice that every time I go back for a refill, my eyelashes tend to stay on longer every time. And I don't know if it's because my eyelashes are used to it now or um, they're possibly maybe healthier because I hardly don't do anything to them now. So that's just something to maybe look out for. So if you experience a lot of fallout during your first set, I want to say that's actually really normal. But but afterwards your eyelashes get used to it and they actually hold on to the extensions a lot better. So a big misconception that I've been um, seeing a lot or especially when I was doing my own research is that eyelash extensions ruin your natural, ex your natural eyelashes and that's not true per se but they can ruin your natural lashes if one or two things. One, your lash artist did something wrong and they're actually like not that experienced or something happened two you actually caused damage to your natural lashes and i'm going to go over what that means right now so the biggest thing to make sure that you do is that you clean your eye makeup off every if you wear eye makeup like on the daily like i do you need to make sure you clean off your eyelash extensions so even though i'm raving about eyelash extensions this is where the ugly part comes in if you are someone who is lazy about taking off your makeup at night, which I, it's totally understandable. I mean, not everyone has like 10 minutes to dedicate to just makeup removal. Um, and you wear heavy makeup, but you like are lazy about thoroughly cleaning off your eye makeup. Um, you're going to hate eyelash extensions. Let me just tell you that right now. For me, since I do wear heavy eye makeup, I have to make sure I take extra steps to be extra careful when cleaning off my eyelashes or any makeup near my eyelashes because if not, if you're too rough with them or you're using the wrong type of products, then you will either ruin your own lashes or you're going to just make your eyelash extensions fall out faster. So for me, the best way to clean off my eyelashes or to clean my eye makeup off is I actually like to take some eye makeup remover. Make sure all the products you use near your eyes oil-free. Any type of oil is going to break down the glue that is used to attach the extensions. So you really want to avoid oil, like any type of oil around your eye area. So oil-free eye makeup remover, it's very liquidy. It's a type that has two different solutions. And I showed on Snapchat a few nights ago on how I actually clean off my lashes. So if you guys aren't following me on Snapchat, Give your girl a follow because I actually like to put up a lot of helpful things on here that I can't film a video for like all the time. <laughs> but anyway, so I like to just take a little bit either on my finger or actually just pour it directly like into my tear duct here, like with my eyes closed. And then I take my fingers and I actually just start to massage my eye makeup off. And I like to do this because the pad of your fingers are very gentle and nothing's going to be pulling at your lashes. And you just get to break up all the makeup around there. Then what I do is either rinse them off 
or I just go directly into the next step, which is I get Johnson's baby shampoo and I actually take a little bit more on my finger, work that into my eye to just make sure I take off all the makeup remover residue off and any eye makeup that is left. Pretty much after that, my whole eye is clean. Like it's really, there's really no extra steps needed. If anything though, you may want to take a Q-tip, but be very, very careful. Um, it's not recommended to use cotton balls or Q-tips on your eyelashes because since the ends, while your eyelashes are growing out, it's not like a complete connection from the extension to the root of your lashes. There's about like a very, very tiny, small gap of space from the root of your natural lashes to where the extensions are applied. So any fibers can get caught in there. So think of a cotton ball, how much fiber it has, like all the, all the cotton, it's gonna definitely get stuck in there and you're gonna have a huge mess. Same thing with Q-tips, be very careful. If anything, I just use the Q-tips on my lower lash line just to clean like inside my waterline and stuff like that, but never rub anything that's super fibrous near your eyelash extension base. And then that's pretty much it. And if you just happen to not really like care for them all too much, you can just let them fall out naturally. And when I say fall out, what a lot of people don't know is that our lashes, like our real lashes, has a lash cycle, just like how our hair does, eyebrows, any place on your body where hair grows, hair falls out naturally because every strand of hair has a life cycle. Every hair eventually dies and it falls out so a new hair can grow. Your lashes do the same thing, the hair on your head does the same thing, it's completely normal. So either the glue itself starts to wear off and an extension will fall off, or if you see that it falls off with a natural lash, don't freak out, nothing's happening to your real lashes. It's just that that real lash of yours probably reached the end of its cycle and it just fell out on its own. And of course it's gonna fall out because you have something attached to it so it's heavier, so it may come off more easily. But like I said, that's nothing unusual, it's totally normal. The only thing is if you yourself are pulling and tugging and always messing with your eyelashes or you are not cleaning them properly, gunk is gonna just start to accumulate at the base of your natural lashes and you're suffocating the root of your natural lash and you're just gonna be damaging that hair follicle and of course it's gonna fall out and more than likely it's not gonna grow back the same. So you have to take the responsibility to be really careful with your eyelash extensions. Another downfall is if you actually wear like super humongous eyelashes all the time, when you do put on eye makeup with your um, extensions on you're probably not gonna feel like you have that much of an impact with your lashes because you're used to probably like super super huge false lashes so you probably won't care for eyelash extensions all that much either but if you're like in the in-between area where you wear false lashes but they're nothing like dramatic at least not all the time then you'll end up really liking the extensions and then as far as that every other everyday like activities that you may do with your eyes like such as putting on contacts, wearing glasses, putting on your eye makeup. Everything just pretty much stays normal unless your eyelashes are like really really huge and they may like get in the way of your eyeglasses or that's actually pretty much it. I think glasses would be the only thing that may like restrict you a little bit but other than that everything else you do completely normal and like there's nothing special or different that you need to do. I've been getting my eyelashes now refilled ever since I got them first done because I really like them. I think it's convenient, um, mainly because, this is going to sound funny, but for those of you who don't know, like if you're a makeup artist, half of the time, more than half of the time, I don't even know why I said half, more than half of the time when you're working, um, you usually don't, I mean I usually don't have makeup on and if I do it's very minimal because I just don't have the time to go full glam on work days. Um, either it's a really early call time or start time or you're just going to be working like for a long period of like back to back appointments and you have no time to put on your makeup. I'd rather get more sleep than have to wake up earlier and be tired for my clients. I'd rather get more sleep and be rested and have me look like crap <laughs> and just focus all my energy on them. Um, so it comes in handy on those days where either you don't have a lot of time to put on makeup or you have no makeup at all. Your eyelashes still make you look like awake and pretty and I like it. If you're considering getting extensions done, just also know that it takes a lot of commitment. It's just like when you get highlights done or your eyebrows waxed or threaded. Whenever you start a process that requires a lot of upkeep, you have to keep up with it because if not, 
it's just not going to play out well for you. So it's a lot of responsibility on your end as well. So for those of you who are located in the South Texas area in McAllen, Rio Grande Valley, I get my eyelashes done with Selena and she works at Lux Beauty Bar. I will put her information down below in the description box. But definitely do your research. There's a bunch of other places and salons that you can go to as well. But number one thing is just do your research and really get references from clients of those other places. Anywhere you go to and for anything really. I mean it's not just for eyelashes, doctor, hairdresser, makeup artist, whatever it may be. References are always super helpful and you can speak to real clients and learn about their real experiences and just make sure that you are like you're ready to commit to something like for upkeep or if it's just for one time use then you know there's no upkeep required but um, hopefully this helps you guys in deciding whether or not eyelash extensions are for you. It's different for everybody. It's one of those things where either you're going to find it super convenient or you're going to find it to be a huge inconvenience. So it just is, it's just based on your perspective of things. But I hope this cleared up any questions that you all had and I hope this helps you out a little bit in determining whether or not this is something for you. If you have any questions, let me know down below. I will try my best to respond to them. And um, that's basically it. So I hope this was helpful. I see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.